The PF government is on Friday, November 11, 2011, expected to present the national budget amidst very high expectations. Prior to the elections, the PF, while in opposition, based its campaign on lower taxes and more money in people's pockets through job creation. With this in mind, several stakeholders have high expectations from the PF government's national budget, especially on pay as you earn and the tax threshold. Teacher unions in the country are among the stakeholders calling for an increase in the tax exemption and drawing of pay as you earn. Basic Teachers Union of Zambia and the Zambia National Union of Teachers expect the increase in the funding towards the education sector. That increment in the education budgetary allocation up to possibly about 19% of the GDP. But this falls far much below the required amount in terms of the actuals. But in addressing obviously the deteriorating standards of education in Zambia, uh, our expectations in this year's uh, budget are that uh, the Dakar framework on, on education for all, which allocated at least 23% of the GDP to education, should be implemented. So our expectation is that there will be a lot of um, money allocated. Last year it was 18%, so we hope there will be an increase from 18% so that in uh, these projects, the challenges which are coming into, with these changes coming, will, will be met. And you'll realize that also these changes, they are key players in it. They are teachers who are also expecting an increase in terms of salaries and conditions of service. So I would like to really appeal, where our expectation is that there will be a, a very big increase in terms of percentage as compared to last year. Zambia is part of the Dakar framework which advocates for every country to allocate 23% of GDP towards the education sector. Zambia in its last year's budget falls short of 5% in meeting the Dakar framework.